something on it like a black box television production. This is our weekly session and we're here in the home of Mrs. Udocho and we are here to talk to our favorite newlywed. Yes. The beautiful you. Jennifer. <laughs> May I call you Mrs. Emejulu? Yes, you may. Yes. Oh my gosh, she's so sweet. So sweet. She's officially Mrs. Officially, Emejulu. Yes. And just in case you're wondering, I didn't send her a memo about wearing purple, but what did you say about wearing purple? Great minds think alike. Yeah, okay. Awesome. <laughs> so that's it. So we're here trying to talk to her, actually, to... She just got married on... February 14th? February 13th. February 13th. Yes. The day before Valentine's exactly. Day. Exactly. What an awesome day to get married. It was lover's weekend. Definitely. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. How was that plan? Did you plan it? You know, honestly, I didn't put it all together. Initially, I just wanted that month. We've been mm -hmm. dating long distance. Okay. And we said, okay, if we don't do it now, you know, we have to we have to wait for another three day oh. weekend. Yeah. And we just wanted it to happen before the spring before, and oh. summer so wow. and then we realized oh my god it's uh, valentine's, it's valentine's weekend. weekend you know what are people gonna say and i was like you know what let all the lovers come all the lo I hope I'll, have fun. Yeah. <laughs> and by the way i was at this wedding and you could feel the love it was magnificent thank you, you. guys look so good together thank you i mean it was kind of like renewing your vow i renewed my vow my husband wasn't there but i kept saying oh my gosh this is so good and thank you actually you. stepped it up thank you you stepped it up how did that whole thing happen, the dance? That's my favorite part. Okay, well, for the dance, I'm a big fan of Dancing with the Stars. I don't know who watches ah. Dancing with the Stars. But one of my favorite <laughs> shows, the new season just started. Okay. And I've always said, when I get married, I want to do a professional dance. Oh. Ah. And so uh, when we were planning the wedding, you know, I love my husband because he is He's really like down, what we call it, it down. He is down. He yes. is down. <laughs> Especially for a Nigerian man, yeah. you know. I told him, babe, I want us to do this. He yes. said, okay. Okay. <laughs> and so um, we took professional lessons here in California. Oh, really? And with the distance, you know, every time he would come, we would take a class. Okay. And then anytime we're together, we would practice. Oh, wow. And it worked out oh, beautifully. Oh, it was. You should say this. Okay, the next clip we're going to show you this dance. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. But... When I was watching it, I kept saying, oh my gosh, you know, they didn't do the, the traditional, what is it called? Duro? Yes. And you went on and did something that is so elegant. What was going on through your mind through that dance? The, on, <laughs> on <the> street, on <laughs> street. To be honest, is okay, one, two, three, spin around. <laughs> it was me telling him little notes like, okay, now I do this. We were like going over it because we were actually nervous, even though you mm -hmm. couldn't really tell. We were actually nervous because... We knew that we had an audience, yes. you know, and we're used to practicing yes. just by yes. ourselves, yes. you know, but he did a great job. He was the, the man is always leader, yep. always the leader and yep. he led yep. me and yep. I followed yep. and yep. you know, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. But when he had to carry you off, <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. Is he going to do this? Is he going to do this? What was going on through your mind at that point? Honestly, I, I trust him completely because he carries oh me gosh. all the time. That's like oh. the thing he likes to do. The hard part was not stepping on my dress okay. or you know the hard part he had was getting all of my dress so yes. it might have looked like i'm not that heavy at least he's strong enough to carry me it was all about the dress not stepping on my dress and getting all of the dress oh my gosh and so it, was, he it was it them. was beautiful it was beautiful Thank everybody you. enjoyed it i loved the even the event place was beautiful Thank you. And your bridesmaids everybody looked gorgeous you know you look like you were so happy I I will have to say that that's the most that's the happiest day of my life. I don't think I've ever felt so happy. Like even when we look at pictures, even last night, yeah. I was like, oh my god, I was yeah. so happy. happy. Yeah, because I was with my best friend. Aww. We put so much work into this, yes. and yes. it went off without a hitch, and we enjoyed it. Yes. You know, it wasn't yes. stressful. The music was good. Yes. The food, we actually really yeah. enjoyed our wedding and that's yes. how it should be that that's how it should be that's yeah. how it should be it was a breath of fresh air for me Thank you, you know? just watching i'm like wow so much work that went into it and he seemed like he was having a blast that he had the, his woman in his hands yeah. that was really awesome to watch that thank was you awesome to watch. i'm glad so you enjoyed it i'm glad you enjoyed, enjoyed it. it yeah so, and how did you guys meet? I have to ask you because Empire Mind wants to they know. They want to know. Yes. We actually technically met over the phone. Oh. Um, <laughs> it was a, it was a night, it was a hookup. So my cousin and his friend from high school okay. are sister-in-laws. Oh. 
And so they were talking, you know, she called my cousin and said, oh, I have this friend, mm-hmm. you know, blah, blah, blah. Do you know anyone? She said, yeah. Ooh. She called me. She gave me his resume, quote unquote. <laughs> and um, I said, okay, resume. you know, he looks, yeah. looks good. The pictures Interesting. look good. Yeah. And then he called me. And funny enough, he has a really strong accent. And oh, he's been here for over 20 okay, years. Okay, here we go with the accent <laughs> again. Okay. And, so when I first asked her at the phone, I said, wait, who is this? Is this one of my uncles or something? <laughs> but we actually hit it off instantly. We oh. were on the phone for like an hour. And, and the rest was history. You know, he eventually, after talking for a month and a half or so, oh. um, yeah, he came out to see me. And by then, we already kind of were familiar with each other, very comfortable. So Wow. Well, when it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Because yeah. for you to be on the phone for an hour for the first call. Yeah. yeah. And I will say this, you know, okay. I do give credit to FaceTime because it makes Long distance dating a lot easier nowadays when you can see someone's face mm-hmm, as opposed mm-hmm. to just talking. Yeah. So that really helped a lot. So, so where, where was he? He's in New Jersey. Oh, he's in New Jersey. Yeah, he's in New Jersey. Jersey so that's here. okay. So that's not too bad, right? It's no, not like no, Nigeria. it's not like Nigeria. Yeah. No, that's a long, that's, that's a long that's way. A long go on. Okay. Yeah. And so, how did he propose? And when did he propose? Oh, so he Take proposed us through this journey. <laughs> Um, it was August 14 when he proposed of oh, last wow. year. She remembers the exact date. Yeah. <laughs> so, because I made a video <laughs> afterwards. Oh, and, you know, it was a, he, he was supposed to fly in the night before, but um, there was a delay in his flight. Mm. And so he came in early that morning. His luggage didn't come. It yeah. was the craziest day. We had a meeting in the valley and we had, we had like some appointments we had made okay. and traffic was horrible. It was, I think one of the worst days ever. And oh. he told me we had dinner reservations Okay. and he's a very punctual guy. So when he says we have reservations, it puts pressure on me. Like, Oh my right. God. So he's I not Nigerian. <laughs> no, no. He went to, um, Catholic boarding school. So oh, he's very okay. regimented. Okay. So, you know, because of the traffic and his luggage not coming in, I knew that it was going to be stressful to get mm-hmm. to dinner on time. Yeah. And so we rushed. I did my hair. Everything was quick. And it, it just completely went past me that it was something romantic. I didn't even think engagement because I just, <laughs> he does things like that. Yeah. He has reservations. Yeah. And I, it were, we were at the um, Seal Beach Harbor or Huntington Beach Harbor. Okay. And I said, oh, we're going to a seafood house. Yeah. No, it was a gondola ride. Oh, and I still, How romantic. I still, but funny enough, I did not pick up on it. I just oh thought, oh, this is my romantic boyfriend, oh you know, doing something sweet. Oh, so sweet. And so we went on the gondola ride and the guy was singing to us, serenading us. And I was just, oh, okay, I'm going to cry now. Okay. <laughs> and I was just, I was just happy to finally be, you know, relaxed yeah. in the sunset. And then towards the end, he started saying things. Oh, how incredible I was. I was like, oh, you're incredible. Like, you don't have to. Are you fishing for compliments? Like, what is it? You know? <laughs> then he dropped down on one knee and I, like, lost it. Oh. I just started screaming. I don't oh even know what gosh. else he said. Oh. Did he even say something before he said yes? <laughs> you know what? I didn't even hear when he asked me to marry him. <laughs> okay. I, he was just there with the ring. And I was like, aren't you going to ask me something? <laughs> He said, I did. I <laughs> you were like, yes. 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 So it was beautiful. That and that so wasn't nice. it. At mm. the end of all that, um, he took me to the restaurant eventually. And my whole family was there. Oh, they my God. surprised me. So, so they were all in it. Yeah. The guy knows his way around he, he, <laughs> he knows a thing or two. Oh, and, yeah, he got me. Oh, so awesome. It was oh, my gosh. That's so beautiful. Thank you. That is so beautiful. Yeah. That he's from New Jersey and you're from here and just yeah. the connection. Yeah. So based on that, what do you have to say to this 27 to 30 year olds that think, oh, I haven't been married, I'm not married, and blah, blah, blah. Um, what I will say is, one, is don't lose hope. I hear a lot of people say, you know what, just forget about it. You know, mm-hmm. I'm just not even going to try. Yeah. It's not about you going and necessarily trying and throwing yourself out there, but it's about you having an open mind, mm-hmm. yes. you know, and yes. for you not to lose hope that, you know, you're worth something. Because to me, marriage is something to be cherished. cherished you know, yes. my parents are married, and I've seen married couple. So it is a goal. Just like you get this job and it's degree. To me, mm-hmm. having a successful mm-hmm. marriage and finding a partner in life yes. is it's a great achievement. So I don't think it's something that, you know, should be taken lightly or should be thrown aside. Okay. You know? So um one is be hopeful. Be hopeful. But also be open minded because yes. um I kinda got this for a while, you know, you can be picky 
But um, instead of being picky, I would say be selective. Be you selective. know, be selective. Yes. So choose the right partner. Know what you want. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. not just what you're attracted to, but what you think would be a good fit for your life. Exactly. You know, you doesn't have, have to be a doctor. It doesn't have to oh, be no. anything, right? No, no. Like sometimes you need someone who's going to be emotionally compatible with you. Right. You right. know, whose temperament is going to be p- compatible. So mm-hmm. know what you want. Know what you need as a woman mm-hmm. to compliment you. Right. And don't, that's what I mean. Don't settle for that. Don't settle for anyone, any man who says, I want to marry you i love you baby no don't do that like have standards but don't also be too picky like oh you know what his hands are small or (laughs) i don't like the shirt i've I've heard heard that so many times (laughs) yeah i don't like the shoes that he's wearing you could change his shoes don't worry not not all men most men can't even dress properly exactly to tell you the truth but just look for those key qualities and then be open-minded because i mean He's all the way in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. But when I met him, I felt that he was a great guy. And, you know, I have a good career. And I I know that I'm open to exploring new things. So just just be open-minded. Don't be stuck. He has to live in this square radius. And he has to look like this. He has to have this type of car. He has to do this. No, No, as long as he's a great guy, he can treat you right. And he's hardworking. If you find a hardworking man, he will do whatever is necessary to take care of his family. So good, so yeah. good. You know what we used to say? We say you draw up all your requirements. It's hundred percent. If the guy can't get a seventy percent, is a C. You can yeah. work on it for him maybe, to get maybe the eighty. Yeah. yeah. Okay, she's going for it. See, that's that's the generational gap here. Okay, that's the generational gap because we'll say seventy percent, and you can really build him up. Yes, you can. Until he though. gets to that A plus. Right? That's true. So, that's true. Yeah. So um, you've heard it from her. So beautiful, yes. she where she's a career woman, she has a doctor doctor in doctorate in physical, physical therapy. therapy and she yes. has a great career. Yeah. But yet you left home and moved back to New Jersey. Yes. And I did that because one, like I said, I found a great guy. Yes. And he had a lot of great potential. Mm-hmm. And I believe as as a woman it's easier for us. Yes. Um, to be unstable, you know, especially, I mean, and I hope you guys don't get offended. You know, I'm going to be having children, so I, I can be a little bit more flexible, but you need a man who's going to be stable, especially if he's already stable. Right. If you guys are younger and it doesn't matter, you know, yes. you're both in school, it doesn't matter, but my, my husband was already stable. So it was easier for me to pack up and move mm-hmm. and figure out my new life situation than for him. Because yes. let's face it, society, you know, things are hard nowadays. Yes. And especially for a man who has a lot of pressure from society to succeed and take care of this family Mm -hmm. I we felt like it was easier for him to stay stable where he was and for me to move and especially with my career yeah um, as a physical therapist I can get a job anywhere anywhere. which is also why it's important ladies to always invest in yourself first invest in yourself that's what I always say you have to be number one you have to be strategic about your career and about your goals exactly but I'm really glad that actually you express that that you had to move to yeah. him you know it's kind of also biblical right yeah, yeah. because it's the man he's still the head of the house so, yes. so i'm glad but if like you mentioned if you're more stable than your husband there's yeah. nothing that says that the man cannot exactly move to you. so exactly we're not we're not saying that you the woman have, have to, move, to but it's like you have to kind of look at your situation and whatever your situation is is what you go yeah with. it has to make sense for every situation is going to be different so it has to make sense for your situation so you're uh, you're original okay actually you're american correct yeah, technically Nigerian American because I'm Ni- um, born in America, yes. American citizen. But I do have dual citizenship, and I do travel back and forth. So I do um, definitely embrace my Nigerian culture as much as possible because I think it's important to be connected. Yes, yes. Yeah. And that was exhibited at your traditional wedding. Tell us about the traditional wedding. By the way, you look so beautiful. Thank you. you. I mean, the <laughs> wedding dress was good, but then I was looking at you, you changed like, th- at least I yeah, noticed three, three times. times. And you looked gorgeous. Yeah. There was one that you guys had purple and green, and even your husband, oh my gosh, the, guy, the guy was just looking like you. <laughs> he won the power load. <laughs> he was happy. Yeah. You know what? And he did. So, yeah. Yeah. you know, um, with the traditional wedding, like I said, I go back home a lot. And mm-hmm. one thing I love about going back home during Christmas is the weddings, the traditional Nigerian weddings, you know, where the family comes and they technically give gifts dowry give yeah. gifts for the exchange of a woman yeah. and so it's a lot of different a lot of culture that goes into that you know in our culture um the woman comes and uh, welcomes 
the guests with what's called unzun. It's a, a chalk. Yeah, and the yeah. chalk is our way of welcoming people in upper black culture. Mm -hmm. So I definitely want to make sure I display our upper black culture because every Igbo culture is a it's little different. bit different. Yes, so yes. I wanted to make sure that's something I did. So my first entrance was, was, was that, me welcoming the party with the unzun, unzun. Okay. being followed by my younger mates. Yeah. Okay. And then the second one was more traditional Igbo culture where... Um, the guy's family brings wine to the woman's family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and my family blesses it and gives it to me to go and find to my find husband. husband. The husband who gave you this wine, who brought yes, this wine yes, to yes. us. So, did you find him quickly? I, you know what? I, I didn't. He was way in the back of the room. But that's the fun of it, too. Yeah. We take the culture and we... Um, we kind of showcase it a little bit. So right, we make it yeah. fun for the people yeah. there to watch. We're going to be showing the pictures of some of the traditional okay. okay. Actually, okay, like, yeah. I think it's the Unzu one. Yeah. When you were dancing with the little pot. Yes. Uh-huh. Well, I'm able as well, but we don't have that part. Yeah, so, I know yeah. that's something that's very unique to at least Abraba side yeah. that I know about. So we want to make sure we show people you know how it's done in our town yeah. so so but so it was like a marathon because you had an event on thursday yes. friday and then saturday is the wedding day yes it was actually a three-day wedding wow. and, and the reason we did it that way one we wanted to do it all together because mm -hmm. he's from out of state he has family and friends yes. from out of state so we wanted everyone to be able to attend without flying across state yeah. and then we broke it up in three because the traditional uh Igbo marriage is actually very detailed yes you know the families discuss back and forth but, oh yeah yeah the prize, the... yeah they go over the bride prize, bride prize. and that's something that's very extensive yeah. so if we did all that for you on friday you guys would have been bored yeah <laughs> you would have been so, bored. So, so before you couldn't how much how much did they put on your head you know what i, I don't <laughs> even i don't actually know but in upper bar they say that we don't sell yeah. our wives so they don't actually put a great dollar value oh that's it's good. more about the gifts the and gifts, things that yeah. you give yeah. so they don't put a big dollar yeah. value so let, they could have sold me for yeah. two dollars yeah <laughs> let, let me tell you what we do in our culture especially in my family yes. uh, you never pay it all you remain that's always one dollar okay that gets interest okay. Right? okay that interest is never repaid Okay. So that's kind of like the way that you have to constantly go back and forth, and that's the so they kind of keep it, yeah. keep the family yeah, kind because of linked. People, yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay, yeah. so you don't know. Well, no. we, we could have paid anything for your hair. Oh, right? thank you. <laughs> thank so you. Adorable. You're so down to earth, so beautiful. I really thank like you. that about you. Thank you. you. I really I, like that. I mean, about it's my you. family. We're all yeah. very close. So yeah. that's just the way I was brought up. Yes. yes thank yes, you. Yes. 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 So now that we've talked about that, can we change gears because sure. there's something because your wedding was so beautiful, everything was so well planned. So where was the honeymoon? <laughs> <laughs> My name is Noni Nwasiki. Thank you so much for watching Black Pumps TV. We hope you keep watching. Be the flag. Be good to yourself. Remember, you're number one. See you next time. Thank you.